Good day all my Jeep and friends. A few weeks ago I released a video showing you guys how to change out your dash lights in a YJ to LEDs. YJ's not too hard at all, but I found out something TJ's are a lot easier. Yeah, that's right. 2000 mile TJ, we're changing out the dash lights to the stock incandescent bulbs to some really sweet purple LEDs. Want to know how to do it? Let's go do it. All right, the first thing we need to do is this whole cowl section right here. Get your screwdriver under that edge and just pry up a little bit and just work your way across. And it lifts right out. Okay, after you get this piece off, you got a screw right here and one right here. Then you got a third one. Way down here, right there. Get those three screws out. Okay, once you get those two screws out, and this third one that was down here I showed you a moment ago, grab here at the bottom and just pull outward on it. And pull out on the top a little bit and it'll snap right off there. Pretty smooth and easy. Then what you got? One, two, three, four. Take those four screws out. All right, once you get those four screws out, grab hold of here, just pull out. And there's all your plugs. So what you want to do is just unplug these right here, take them out. I think this one here squeezes. This one clips. You got the point, people. I only got one hand. Right, here we go. Oh, even the now this here's the vacuum lines that controls the vacuum signal that goes up inside the dash that controls all your flapper valves. You just got a couple of hooks that you disconnect. The lighting for your uh, heater controls, get you a short blade screwdriver because you just got a very little bit right here that you can grab hold of. You don't need too wide of a blade. Take a turn, you'll feel it stop. I mean, it's only like an eighth of a turn, so a little short turn. And once you do that, you get underneath it right here. You may have to Pry it up just a little bit once you get them unlocked. Then once you get them out of there, there's your bulb. Then unplug this one, plug your LED in there, and snap them all back in place. Now LEDs do have polarity. Polarity meaning if you put them in backwards, they will not light up. So what you want to do is before you know you put your LEDs in. Plug it into the dash, turn your dash lights on, and test your LEDs to make sure they're lit up. If they're all three lit up, you're good to go. If one of the three are not, you want to pull it out, rotate it, and plug it back in. Rotate just one position and plug it back in, and you should be good to go. So what you got? Three of them on this right here. Okay, your upper, above your uh, instrument cluster, right here's one of them. You got one, two, and there's one more over there, three. Phillips has screws. You want to get them out. Then you got one right here. And right there. These two, all of them's going to be the exact same screws except for these two right here because they're trim screws. They're exposed. Once you get the, those two screws out, this bottom panel right here will come off. But one thing you got to look, look out for, and let me crank the other side and I'll show you real quick. As you're pulling it off, your headlight switch here. Pull it back, and it's got like a rubber grommet type thing in there. Take your thumb, as you see what he, the way he did it. Take your thumb, push it in, like you try to push your headlights in. Then pull the tr um, trim piece off at the same time. Therefore, it just pushes it right through that rubber grommet right there. Okay, for the upper half of the bezel, I showed you a moment ago. The three screws up here, and you really will benefit if you got a very short little stubby screwdriver to get to these. Because they're kind of a, in an angle going right against the windshield, so you're going to need a stubby screwdriver for these. Then you got here, and one right there that you gotta get to. After the trim bezel comes off, you got one, two, three on each end. You take those three out on each end, six total. All right, once you get all six of the screws out, three on each end, you'll grab your cluster and just kind of wiggle a little bit. And it unplugs and comes right back out. Cause see, 
the TJ's uses these sockets here to plug into where the YJ's has got that um, wiring harness goes in behind your dash. Looking at the back of your cluster, you're going to have what we're changing out is here, 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 and here. The brown plugs are your lights that we're changing out. Now, in the event you've got your high beam bulb is out, turn signal bulbs out, you can get to the back of them here. And here's your airbag, check gauges, check engine light. So that's where you can get to your lights if you need to. Um, change out those. There's that annoying upshift that tells me it tells everybody when to shift which I ignored anyway. So that's how you can get to your bulbs there if you need to change them out. So now we're changing these. Now to get these out, you get you some needle nose pliers or we got some of your duck bill pliers here. Just hold it just enough to rotate it. And pick them up right out of there. And those bulbs right there, they just simply pull straight out of the socket. You don't have to twist, turn up like that, pull straight out on them. Now here's the little LEDs we're putting in. And remember, as I mentioned earlier, that these things are polarity sensitive. What really bites about them is the fact that I can't tell you, say, hey, you got to put it this way and it's going to work first time. It's one of those trial and error things. You put them in and they just simply slide in. What you want to do is look at the positioning of the wires. The wires have to be on the side of the uh, little plastic encasing. If it's on the end, it will not make contact. So they got to be on the sides. And whenever you plug them in, they just simply slide in. Like that. Then you put them in, lock them back in. And you don't have to put a lot of pressure to them. Just just enough see that's all it is then once you do that you hook your cluster back up and before you put all your trim bezels back on luckily the tj's are easy enough that you just pop it back in place turn your dash lights on and test them before you get all froggy and think hey i'm done now we just sit your cluster back in place you do not have to put any screws in just push it into your sockets are engaged and then we're going to take our lights and turn them on lucky they purple these over here that are backwards. So this one over here looks like we got to turn it around. One, two of them looks like. We got purple here, here, here. Three, six. So this end right here, we got to change these around. Again, like I said, the player is sensitive, and you can't really. It's a trial and error thing, but luckily the TJs are a heck of a lot easier than the YJs. Instead of pulling the bulb completely out of the socket, grab your pliers, rope, get your bulb. Okay, remember your positioning here. Now we rotate the whole bulb 180 degrees, drop it back in the socket, twist and lock it back in. That way you ain't got to pull it, risk of breaking the uh, LED, pulling it out of the socket. And slide her back in, locking, engaging your contacts. There, you go. there it is. Ain't she pretty? Pretty easy. I wish the YJs were this simple. Okay, now we're going to rotate this one. Rotate 180 degrees. Engage. Lock her down. Pop her in. There we go. Much better. And it's, I mean, it's day, I mean, it's overcast today, but still it's daylight out here, and they show up great. So, pretty cool. And I'm dimming the switch down here. They're not very dimmable, so I think you, what you see is what you get. Now, some LEDs are dimmable, some are not. And these are just a slight little bit, but not by a whole lot. So there you go, people. Now, let's get the dash put back together. Okay, while he's putting the dash back together, there's not really much point in showing how to go all back together. Reassembly, reversal of disassembly. Just remember that you got two screws that are trim screws, and where they go out in the lower part of the, the bottom half of the dash, all the rest of them are the exact same screws, so you don't worry about mixing them up. Uh, put your screws in a little cup or a little bag to keep up with them so you don't get the full board fall on the ground or something like that, and they're lost and they're never found again. All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. That's how you change out the factory bulbs, converting LED much brighter 
this cool looking too. You get to pick your colors that you want. He dropped a screw. The screws are loose and falling out. <laughs> right. So, again, no point in really showing you reassembly. Um, the reassembly is reversal disassembly. Remember the two screws and make sure you get everything. Don't over tighten anything and bust any of the tabs. So, everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. And give us cool comments down below if you like. And make them educational so it helps everyone out. So, don't forget www.fixjeeps.com where this video and many more land to get for you to go check out. So, everyone. Appreciate you checking it out. Peace. Later, y'all. Came back out for a little display of when the sun goes down. Let's check them out. They are cool. I like <laughs> these. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Come back out when the sun went down for a little uh, lighting display here. Check them out. They are cool. I like these better. I do my YJ lights. But they turned out real well. The kit we assumed came with um, the ones for the heater controls. It didn't. So we're going to order another set of bulbs for those. But I showed you earlier how to change out the bulbs. So there they are. Nice and purple. They're good. <laughs>